Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Kleiner from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I work for Aurora Advanced Healthcare in the Orthopedics Department. My specialty is physical medicine and rehabilitation with a focus on interventional spine. I'm here to talk to you today about something called lumbar facet syndrome. What lumbar facet syndrome is, is a type of arthritis in the joints in the back. Uh, it's a relatively common diagnosis. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it because most of the information out there is about lumbar disc pain and nerve pain. And so this one is often a misdiagnosis. So here's the spine, this is the front, and these are the discs. Here's the back. The big nerves run down through the center like through a tube. Little nerves come out through little holes in the side. Sometimes these discs bulge backwards and pinch on these nerves. The nerves run all the way down the leg into the foot. There's also a whole bunch of joints in the back. These ones are called facet joints. When you bend forward, they open up. When you bend back, particularly when you twist, they squish down. You'll also notice that these joints are right next to these nerves. So sometimes when the joints get angry, the nerves get a little angry as well. So one of the interesting things about these joints is normally when people go to therapy for back pain, they do extension-based therapy where they go backwards. That will actually make this worse. And lumbar facet syndrome is more flexion-based. So for lumbar facet syndrome, generally I recommend physical therapy and anti-inflammatory medicines first. If that doesn't work, then the next step is to start thinking about different spinal injections for that. Luckily, there's a lot of really good options. The simplest option is under x-ray to take the needle and inject a little bit of numbing medicine and cortisone right into these joints. You do it once and you see what happens. I like to see around 75% improvement, typically for many months. If it doesn't last long, we can think about an exciting procedure called an RF ablation. There's little tiny nerves that run into these joints. And with a special needle, I can numb them and I can burn them. So you simply don't feel those joints anymore. That is a fantastic procedure with by far the best evidence out there. It tends to give around 75% pain relief for around a year. Unfortunately, the nerves, the nerves do usually grow back. If they do, you can just do the nerve burn again. But nicely, often therapy and medicines work great and you don't even need to do the procedures.